her sisters from beyond the borders. Thank you. I look at the women from Northern Kenya. They make a lot of political noise. You are strong, you are smart, you are educated, and all I can say is that women from Kenya should look at you and pick up many, many leaves from what you ladies do. Because despite all the challenges that you are facing, I said we all face the same challenges, but for some reason, yours are a bit more challenging than ours, I suppose, because of culture and religion. We should all borrow a leaf from you and your tenacity. I'm going to take it back to Vihiga, and when I'm walking around the country, you'll see a different Tessie. But it is also high time for us to stand up and be bold enough and vie for all the positions that you think you are capable of. Number two, when it comes to um, sharing your dreams and vision, most of the time, as women, we pull each other down. And because we have no time to talk a lot, I just want to plead with you. Let us not pull each other down. Instead, let us hold each other's hand and walk this tough journey with one another. But what I want to talk about tonight is that this is a very precious meeting tonight. Omi, I want to say thank you very much for bringing us together. But we as women of Northern, we know every month we contribute money to our community in our own clans and all counties. Why don't we come together at Northern Kenya, contribute to one basket where we can help women and challenges that we go through. One, we don't have an orphanage in Northern Kenya. We don't have old age uh, homes or safe houses for the women who are waiting for Gadi's resolutions when they go to report cases in the Gadi, where will they stay if they are coming from pastoral community? They don't have where to stay. We really need to have these homes, safe homes for women. And if we come together, we can still contribute on these things and challenges our women face. I'm very happy to be here tonight with you. And uh, it's because there are people who start the journeys and then there are people who take those journeys and make it even better. So Umi, thank you so much for inviting us. Um, of course, um, I, I, I was the first PS from Northeastern Kenya, uh, but before me, <laughs> before me was uh, our sister PS, Amina, Ambassador Amina Mohammed, but she comes from Tessie's backyard. But we still claim her as ours, right? Yes. Yeah, so she was the first PS. I saw her and I said, I need to follow her footsteps. And Alhamdulillah, I made it. And now Umi has followed my footsteps. And I'm very happy. And I know that more and more opportunities will be open for us as we go along. But as we open that door and we let, uh, we let our sisters uh, see us in those positions, everybody who is here in a position of leadership is Mas'ul. And Mas'ul in Arabic means there's a responsibility upon you. And that responsibility you must make sure that then you help those behind you to follow your footsteps. I'm very, very happy to see a lot, a lot of talented uh, sisters in positions of authority. And we can only do better. P.S. Umi, you've started this journey for us and I'm really, really proud of you because this, this organization Northern Women, Northern Kenya Women Leaders Caucus is something that should have been done long, long time ago. I want to take this opportunity once more again to thank PS Umi for inviting us here. Indeed, it's a pleasure to have all our sisters, elder sisters, younger sisters here. As women from Northeastern, we are privileged to have opportunities from this government and we want to thank his Excellency the President, uh, so much for giving us this opportunity. P.S. Umi, I know this is the beginning and we are requesting for more sessions 
so that as women from Northeastern, we can strategize and come together and see the way forward. We have very strong women from Northern Kenya. Actually, we are the backbone of Northern Kenya, if I may say that. You today I'm here uh, to thank uh, our peers, Madam Umi, for inviting us and at least starting such an initiative so that as the leaders, women leaders from Northern Kenya, we can move forward and empower ourselves. Um, Your Excellency, uh, Mrs. Mudabadi, uh, I would like to invite you to come to my county. I see what you are doing in other counties, working with other first, uh, ladies, uh, especially for the maternal and newborn health. So you are invited. Please come to our county. Anytime, we'll be glad to host you. Just want to thank Omi Bashir for inviting all of us here. Were it not for her, I don't think we could have met tonight. Umi, thank you so much for remembering your sisters and the mothers and calling us here. Trust me, today, when you're given something, and uh, with due respect from our sisters from other areas, today they can get seven or more governors. Up to today, we don't have a single governor. We don't have a single constituency MPs. It's up to us to hold our hands, come to the table and fight for these positions. There is no position that will be given while sleeping. I want us to raise our hands, forgive each other, say high five to the person next seated to you and say I've forgiven you. Okay? Yes. In fact, this is the milestone you have started. I appreciate you. Because this Northern Women Caucus in fact, when I came in, I saw the word. I saw, eh, there's this caucus. It is my first time. Sure. So let, this, let it be bound. Let's have uh, supportive so that we have, because if we have a such platform, we can go far together. I thank our PS to be hosting us for this iftar. And uh, it is a good uh, step ahead that uh, we are moving ahead. Thank you that our gatherings here, I can say it's our social gender inclusion. As women of Northern, we have uh, a lot of uh, problems and challenges, including poverty, education disparities, uh, gender-based violence, harmful cultural attitudes, among many other challenges. I hope this iftar is our achievement for our social talk so that we can comprehend uh, any challenges that you have with the office of the PS. I would like to tell our PS that uh, you are doing a great job and we want this caucus, you, to establish an initiative, a very strong in initiative chaired by you so that we can tackle forward 